Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Um, my day was pretty great. I worked uh, 6.30 to like, or I worked 7 to 4 today. And what makes it great is that I'm off tomorrow. Uh, I've got to get a lot of yard work done, all that other fancy stuff. Um, I know I promised you guys a Mustang video today, but that's why another reason why we're here today. I got more bad news. The reason why we are not able to have a video on the Mustang today is due to the Corona virus. My item that I ordered, which was my um, throwout bearing, uh, which is 60 bucks, should have been here today at least. But with the virus and how fast everybody's running, it kind of isn't going to be uh, here on time. So that's the bad news that I have for today. Um, but I'm not sure if I really went into, other than me being cranky about what was going on the other day. Um, but what actually, I told you guys what happened and all that other stuff. So best friend Ray, he drove it home over to the place where we're going to be working on it. Another friend of mine's and we're going to pull the trans and everything else all like that. He drove it there as just as how I drove it here. We've kind of had to force it. Um, which I'm pretty sure she's not happy about right now, but it's okay. Um, with that, um, he is about positive that it's my throwout bearing, which makes everything a little bit easier because that means when we drop the trans, we're not going to be looking, we're still looking at uh, uh, surprises. Because we don't know exactly what we're going to be getting into once we drop this trans. We know that my clutch fork is loose. And we know that my throttle bearing is bad. But we don't know what we're looking at once until we pull out the trans. Um, for I know I kind of explained it the other night how to pull it out. Now the process that we're going to be doing is we're going to pull the car into the pit. Once we get the car in the pit, uh, a pit is something... You walk down a few steps and you're able to come underneath the car and stand straight up instead of laying on your back. Uh, well, that being said, that out of the way, with that, we're going to pull like the uh, four, five bolts for the trans, pull the four bolts for the drive shaft, uh, pull the linkages, pull the shifter off, pull the, shi the shifter arm, the shifter, and then the boot, all that good fun stuff, uh, speedo cable, all that fun random necessity items that you got to be pulling off that's what we're pulling off um, it sucks it really does the blue car is my not that i wouldn't say my dream car because it didn't come to me until like uh about three or four years after i had a piece of paper towel stuck to my finger uh after being friends with rain and, and the our entire family of a group that i wanted a mustang because everybody in the group had a mustang almost but me i mean i didn't have one so after I come home from deployment, I was like, hey, Ray, we pretty much built a car. That's what we did. We went, I was like, I want a blue Mustang. I want it to be a GT. I want the LX taillights. I want the GT seats, but I want the gray GT seats. And it has to be a 5.0 and it has to be a five speed, non T top car, non T or non um, sunroof car. And I want it to be a hatch. I don't want it to be a notch. So we spent probably, this started before I came home. And uh, once I had gotten home, we still spent another like two or three months, or right at two months looking. And then we so happened to find the perfect car, which is Old Blue. Uh, she has been a wonderful car. Hasn't technic it technically left me stranded, but I still drove it home, so it didn't leave me stranded. Uh, it has been reliable and resilient to everything that I have put in at it so far. Uh, I've always had way better luck with beater cars than something that I've spent a lot of money on. And I have spent a lot of money on this car. I paid a few thousand dollars, probably more than what I should have for this car. I mean, not for what I should have, but what they're worth right now is through the roof. Uh, so I paid that. And then with Ray being able to help me with parts and everything else and... I saved so much, but with if he wouldn't have been able to help me, I'd probably been like a thousand, two thousand dollars in on top of what I've already had because I had to replace before I even drove the car. The car got towed to my house. Um, 
or a mile's a little bit rest. So we got we had to call a buddy to drive to where we were to tow it back to the house. We couldn't even drive it home. Um, fuel gauge was stuck above fuel. Couldn't figure that out. So we dropped the tank. Dropped the tank. All right, sweet. Uh, he told us it was empty because the or it was buried below E. He told us it was empty. It was not empty. It was a full tank of gas. The bad thing was the pump was bad. So we all we ordered a fuel pump. Put the fuel pump in. Put it back up. Still having trouble. Okay, so we're getting there. We're looking at everything. We're getting this weird clunky sound that's coming from somewhere. Start. Replace the starter. Okay. Once we replace the starter, we drop the trans. We drop the trans. I can't quite remember why we dropped the trans. But we dropped it. I can't remember. But we dropped the trans. We replaced the clutch. We replaced the pressure plate. Uh, we replaced the flywheel. All the, sh the shindigs that we could replace. Uh, took the uh, stock shifter out. Put a Pro 5.0 in it with a long or At first, I had a Pro 5.0 with a short arm or a short shifter. And then after that, Ray's like, here, try this. And we ended up going to a long arm, a uh, long arm Hurst. Uh, we ended up having to put a harmonic balancer on it, put a battery in it, put an alternator on it, um, a whole bunch of random, put injectors on it, had to do a fuel uh, mass air on it, a new breather on it, uh, new gears, new drive shaft, uh, new cam, everything substantially that you could do with the exception of internals and other than the cam the cam is definitely internals uh cam and heads i mean i've upgraded genuinely almost everything the only thing i haven't done is like suspension i need to do axles i need to do tubulars i need to do uh co connectors i gotta do all types of random things still that i need to get done but haven't quite had the money to mostly because i broke my leg and that put me in a damper and everything else. And then with the coronavirus and everything else like that. But it's just been a Debbie Downer. But guys, it will grow. It will get bigger, get better. Uh, but I do want to say a huge thanks to Ray being the best friend that he has been. Um, mama for being mama. Mama, you uh, helped me a lot. I know Ray's helped me a ton. The rest of the group, Rob, Ray, uh, Rob, Jay, Josh, Brandon, Brandon, all you guys have helped me out a ton. I don't know if you guys watch these videos or not. I don't really post about them on the channel, on the group. So, uh, Sam, I mean, our list could go on forever. Um, and then I'm not going to mention, well, screw it. Cody, guys, you already know Cody. Uh, Daryl's been on the video several times. A lot of you guys have been there since the beginning and a lot of you guys are the reason that persuaded me into doing this my cousin is probably the number one person that has persuaded me and pushed me hard to do these videos because he's been wanting me to do this for years it's crazy how long he's wanted me to do this but here we are finally doing it finally over that first threshold we have gotten several more subscribers we're at 105 now i did check today guys it's all thanks to you and everything is thanks to you guys i want to say I love you guys, and even on my bad days, you guys make my days better, other than Pretty Lady, who makes my day amazing. You guys make my days a lot better. Being able to post my videos, talk to you guys every single day, I love it. It's just something that uh, passes and comes in. It's like, hey, I gotta go do this, and it's adrenaline. It's like, I gotta get set up. I gotta start. I gotta get the camera going. I gotta get the ring light on. I gotta get the computers up. I gotta get the whiskey ready. I gotta get the glasses clean. I gotta get the table clean. There's a lot of things that goes into me getting everything ready. To, for you guys. But, guys, cheers. <sighs> Sorry, Cody. I wanted a little bit of while, but then I missed you, buddy. I ain't seen you in a while. Hope you're having a wonderful time. Guys, love you guys. Hope y'all are having a safe, safe quarantine. Not doing anything dumb, because you guys wouldn't do that, would you? Have a wonderful night, guys. Don't forget, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget, hit that notification bell. Let you know every time I go live and post a video and you get to see it right away, because that's who you are, your family, and we love you to death. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. I don't know quite what it's going to be on yet, but guys, do I really know what's going to happen day to day? No. We're going to figure it out, because we're going to grow as a family, we're going to build as a family, and we're going to post videos about a family. Guys, remember, because we drink whiskey to make videos. We make videos when we drink whiskey. You guys have a wonderful night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.